The novel Tarkin by James Lucino introduced a number of new aspects and motivations into the Star Wars universe and also offered some new developments for a few well-known and significant characters. So with that in mind, I thought that I would do my top 5 reveals and moments from the novel Tarkin. In the number 5 spot on my list is the reveal that Tarkin and Count Dooku had a number of conversations and meetings prior to the outbreak of the Clone Wars. The novel introduces the fact that even right up until only a few weeks before the Battle of Geonosis and the official start of the Clone Wars, Dooku was attempting to persuade Tarkin to have his homeworld of Iriadu join Dooku's confederacy of independent systems. But the truly interesting aspects of these conversations lie in what Dooku reveals to Tarkin. Only weeks before the outbreak of the Clone Wars, Dooku tells Tarkin not to be too surprised if the Republic has access to a secret fighting force, thereby tipping Tarkin off to the existence of the Clone Army that would emerge during the Battle of Geonosis. However, even more interesting is that after Tarkin questions why Dooku would do his best to protect Tarkin's homeworld should war come to the galaxy, Dooku states that at the end of the day, he foresees himself and Tarkin under the same roof which is to say, on the same side. This is fascinating as we get a glimpse into what Dooku envisions for the future following the Clone Wars, which seems to be an empire under the leadership of Palpatine, himself, and Tarkin. The final facet that makes these pre-Clone Wars discussions between Count Dooku and Tarkin so interesting is the fact that at the end of the day, Dooku's true mission was not to recruit Tarkin into the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Rather, Dooku's attempts in this regard were made at the behest of Palpatine in order to test Tarkin's loyalty to him and to see if he could be trusted going forward. This is an interesting aspect to the Tarkin and Palpatine relationship as it demonstrates that Palpatine had long envisioned Tarkin to have an important role within his empire. At number 4 on my list of best reveals and moments from the novel Tarkin is the reveal that following the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Emperor had taken up residence in the old Jedi Temple, which had been converted into the Imperial Palace after the destruction of the Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic. We learn in the novel that the Emperor spent a significant portion of his time in the newly converted Imperial Palace. We also learn from the novel that one of the reasons for the Emperor having his personal residence in the old Jedi Temple is due to the presence of an ancient Sith shrine that existed underneath it. The existence of this shrine was not insignificant, as the Emperor was able to utilize the wellspring of dark side energy that lay within it. In fact, the Emperor made the Sith shrine his private sanctum in which the Dark Lord of the Sith would enter to meditate on the nature of the dark side. Further, Another interesting reveal related to the Emperor's new residence of the old Jedi Temple was the fact that the Temple did not only have a strong dark side presence due solely to the Sith Shrine, but also because the corridors and rooms of the lower levels of the Temple still contained traces of the resentful fury that had been unleashed by Darth Vader during his attack there at the end of the Clone Wars. This was a great reveal, as even five years after the attack by Darth Vader in the 501st on the temple, there were still traces of the dark side that remained. Coming in at number three on my list is the fascinating reveal that Tarkin held suspicions and was fairly confident that Darth Vader's true identity was that of the former Jedi Knight, Anakin Skywalker. Author James Lucino did a great job of taking the interactions that occurred between Anakin and Tarkin during the Clone Wars, which were seen in the Clone Wars TV series, and then using them to allow Tarkin to logically deduce that Vader had once been the Jedi Knight whom he had previously fought beside during the Clone Wars. This was a great reveal, not just because it's fun to think that even roughly 15 years before the events of A New Hope, Tarkin knew that Vader's true identity was Anakin Skywalker, but also because it plays perfectly into the character of Tarkin, and adequately demonstrates his genius which makes him a better and more feared character in my opinion. At number two on my list of favorite reveals and moments from Tarkin is the fact that not only does the novel reveal that it's likely that Tarkin deduced that Darth Vader's true identity was Anakin Skywalker, but we also see that it's likely that Tarkin had also determined the Emperor's true identity as well, insofar as he was the dark side master of Vader. Again, not only is this reveal interesting from the standpoint that it expands the Star Wars universe, and it's just interesting to see that Tarkin knows the true identity of Vader and the Emperor, but these reveals also do a great service to the character of Tarkin in my opinion. 
It makes sense that if Tarkin is truly the genius that he's portrayed to be, then he would be able to logically deduce that if Darth Vader was once a powerful Jedi, and is now serving the Emperor, then it would make sense that the Emperor would also have to be a powerful Force user himself. Otherwise, Vader would just assassinate him and assume his place as the Emperor of the Galaxy. These reveals do an excellent job at proving Tarkin to be the military genius and mastermind that he's said to be. And finally, my favorite reveal from the novel Tarkin is from a scene that we get with the Emperor that reveals his true endgame and his reason for pushing for the completion of the Death Star sooner rather than later. It's easy to view the Death Star as the ultimate end, whereby the Empire could use the battle station to easily quell any dissent and ensure that the systems within the galaxy did not rebel. However, for the Emperor, it's revealed in Tarkin that the Death Star was merely a means to an even greater end than simply the control of the galaxy. It's fascinating to learn from the novel that for the Emperor, the sooner the Death Star was completed, the sooner he and Darth Vader could devote themselves to the more pressing concerns that they had regarding the dark side of the Force. That is, for the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious, the ultimate endgame for him is to unlock the secrets relating to harnessing the powers of the dark side to reshape reality itself, and to create and fashion a universe of his own design. The Emperor sought not just immortality as his master Darth Plagueis had, and not merely control of the galaxy. Rather, he sought the ultimate sort of influence over the universe itself. This is a particularly interesting reveal regarding why the Emperor was pushing for the completion of the Death Star project, as we have seen in recent canon material that there were high-ranking Imperials who not only disagreed with the Death Star projects, but who saw them as foolish endeavors and the desires of an arrogant Emperor. For example, General Shale, a legendary strategist in the Galactic Empire's army, saw the Death Stars as taking up too much time, money, effort, and people. However, from the novel Tarkin, we see that although the Death Star represented the ultimate waste in resources for some, for the Emperor, it represented a necessary step forward to unlocking the ultimate power of the Dark Side. So those are my top 5 reveals and moments from the novel Tarkin by James Lucino. I'd be happy to hear and discuss what your favorite parts of the novel were in the comments section below. Have a great day everyone, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.